for retail and business to consume or market segments, shop performance analysis and basket analysis are of utmost importance. I'm going to show you how you can use self-service agile business intelligence to do so. I have a data set which composes of two months of date, data on transactional uh, and item sold um, elements for a number of seven shops. The data that I have composes of amount items sold, articles of course, discount, discount percentages, I have the population of the people living in the city where the shop resides, sales including and excluding VAT and sales quantities, and of course the tax amount and the individual transactions being um, paid at the cashier. In terms of hierarchies, I have geospatial hierarchies, I created two, I have product hierarchies on six levels, I have of course time hierarchy with the moments the articles were sold, and I have some additional elements like um, uh, shopping cart information, loyalty card information, store information, and some information about the item types. Starting to analyze in Lumira is really easy. I just click the plus button. And here we go. Let us create our first metric. I choose sales including VAT. And I'd like to have a look at it per store. So I select my store. And over here are the sales performance figures per store. I might be interested to look at it per month. This gives me the split per month. I could change the chart, for example, in a stacked bar chart. And over here you can easily see how the, uh, the selling weights <coughs> per shop are divided over the different month. Very interesting analysis is the following one. I'm going to compare the sales amount figures um, versus the population sales population metric. So the amount of sales per um, people living in a specific city. And to do so, I choose the Mario Meco chart. I have my sales amount um, already on the screen. I also tick uh, for the column with the population metric, sales versus population metric. I am going to have a look at that per store. And this is very interesting information. If I put um, the uh, view on normal stacking, then you can see the following, that the absolute number in this city is relatively high, but there are living a lot of people in uh, Lelystad making a percentage is 4.6%. However, in Roermond, a lot of people uh, come apparently to this city that has a shopping mall. Not so many people live there, but you see the sales population metric is very high. This is due to the fact that uh, Roermond is nearby the German border and a lot of German people come visit Roermond during the weekends. I could, for example, also take the day of the week including in my analysis, which gives the following overview. Yeah, so now you can very clearly see that Roermond um, has uh, a very high sales population uh, metric, making it interesting um, to market, for example, people outside the city uh, to even increase the sales furthermore. Well, um, if I, uh, I've now created a number of analysis which I can all bring to my final dashboard, which I will show you right now. This is the landing page of my final dashboard, which composes of 13 pages, and I created four sections, global with a global overview, a store overview, item, basket analysis, and I have a purple section, optimization, uh, where I have some advice to change the mix in the baskets. Uh, on the top header, you see the key metrics. I can uh, uh, centrally, we have two charts indicating the performance per store and per month. I can easily select on a specific chart, filter it for example, and you will see all the numbers applying and adjusting, also the donor chart. Another way of interactivity, I can deselect the filter right now, are these interactive drop-down boxes that I 
put on the screen right here where I can just select the cities that are of my interest which I want to analyze and again you see uh, the filter building up over here yeah on the second page I have I can tick the green button it brings me to the first page of global uh, insights which you see over here where I have store performance ranked this is the population uh, index mm -hmm. Over here, I made the split uh, sales in a um, stat bar chart per store, where you, for example, can very interesting, uh, interestingly see that, for example, Roumont has a relatively high level of Sunday sales, again, due to the fact that there's a shopping mall which is being accessed by German people quite a lot in the weekends. Over here are my peak levels and I created a little overview over here where you can uh, compare the percentage uh, of sales per month per city. Page two, uh, three. Over here you see different comparisons per, uh, per shop uh, over time, for example, over the month, the day of the week over here. Again, an indicator of day of the week where you can clearly say, see the importance of the weekends. And over here is a heat map where you can uh, just select and uh, drill down as you wish, for example, like I do right now. Yeah, to do white spot analysis. The third page is again on global overview where I indicated uh, the performance of the different shops on maps. So over here I have an ESRI map with region performance and also individual city performance. This one is a Galicia extension with also country performance versus local performance. And I created two heat maps. Over here, you see the full heat map with Lely start clearly coming out as the top performant. I can indicate it a little uh, in more intense city. And over here, I have the same overview where I excluded Lely start to have focused on the other cities where you can clearly see now how the performance is divided over the country. The next page is a graphomate, a more mm -hmm. formal way of representing data, um, and where you can see the performance over here in absolute and relatively numbers um, in the different shops. Then I skip to the store level with a basket mix on different levels per store. So over here you can see level two, apparel, footwear, and bodywear. And over here, I did a combination of level three, a man, woman, boys and girls versus uh, the different labels and uh, sub-levels uh, of, uh, of articles with a ranking and a sorting being done. The next page is again uh, focusing on store. And now I've made an analysis of the relatively discount versus the number of items and versus the sales amount where you can clearly see where and when uh, the discount is provided. So the peak discount was done early in August and the, peak, uh, the lowest discount was done in, for example, this uh, product category being night dresses. Going to the next section, over here I have on store levels a number of rankings where you can see rankings per uh, sales value and rankings per items sold. And over here there is a um, subcategory ranking, ranking on articles versus a higher level of articles, similar over here in the donut charts. All can be, again, you can easily drag and drop and filter or exclude certain data, and it applies to all other maps on the screen too. You see the filter building up over here. Go to the next page. Over here, I've focused on the population metrics where you can see, clearly see the example that we already spoke about, Roermond, which has uh, not the biggest absolute sales mm -hmm. amount, but a relatively intense uh, number regarding the sales population metrics, uh, being caused by the fact that a lot of people from Germany visit Roermond during the weekend. This could affect certain marketing activities as needed. The next level is on item mix. Over here, I've created two um, funnel charts. I need to exclude, uh, take away the filters to have the maps being applicable. 
Once a filter is set, it applies to the whole story. Over here you can see the different item types uh, went uh, on item level. And over here I created a, a visualization on the um, uh, different sizes that are uh, being allocated in the stores. Where you can see that certain sizes XXL are especially being um, sold in these two cities and a little less in The Hague, which might cause you to reallocate your stock levels. The next page, over here I created an analysis about the amount of items uh, being uh, uh, sold versus the sales population uh, index. And this uh, is a very interesting one. So here, for example, you can clearly see that these two items are uh, being sold uh, with um, uh, a high amount sold uh, in a very um, in an area with a relatively lower sales population matrix. Again, these, uh, this information might also affect your specific marketing campaigns to better or uh, uh, manage this level. Over here, you see a very interesting analysis where you can uh, have interactivity and have a look at, for example, certain article numbers like, for example, um, t-shirts for woven t-shirts, which you um, uh, might want to compare versus the specific cities. And then you see, for example, this, that uh, the size XXL in this type of t-shirt is specifically being sold in three, uh, four cities, not in other ones. So you might want to reconsider your stock levels for the cities where there was hardly any selling to be done. The last page is uh, again an example of two optimi optimization matrices. I need to uh, take away the filters. Over here I took two articles with these article numbers and I compared the sales over the different uh, shops where you can clearly see that these specific articles are being well sold in two or three shops and less in others. So you might want to reconsider your stock allocation. Thank you for your attention.